It's early in the morning at the ITS Table Tennis Club in the Tokyo suburb of Mataka. The youngest player is 75, the oldest 91. This group of elderly players meets twice every week. It's a routine they've followed for many years. Maybe a lot of friends through a table tennis. That's why I love table tennis. Maybe uh, I continue to play table tennis <sighs> forever. I hope so. The membership of this table tennis club holds up a mirror to the broader demographics of Japan. The younger members are greatly outnumbered by their older counterparts. Currently, more than a quarter of Japanese people are above the age of 65, and the cost of care is rising sharply. Japan was the first country to experience the pressures of an aging society, but more than 100 nations will soon face similar problems. By 2030, uh, I think most of the countries on the earth, except uh, some countries in Africa, uh, they will become a so-called aging society. Japan's increasingly urban population means the number of elderly is growing particularly rapidly in the larger cities. Within the next 15 years, more than half of Japan's elderly will live in densely populated areas. And already there have been consequences. Tokyo, Nagoya and Osaka, those big cities don't have many facilities for old people. So we urgently need to have a plan how to support the situation with the elderly people. Sadao Miyanaga is worried. He feels there simply aren't enough staff, funds and care centers to support elderly people in larger cities like Tokyo. There is a huge demand for group homes. In Tokyo, there are 400 homes, but we need 800 now. It's estimated that by 2015, there will be 2.5 million Japanese people living with some form of senile dementia. With the nation's care needs set to grow to such staggering levels, the situation is already forcing caregivers to innovate. There are a few methods we can use to alleviate symptoms of dementia. We have choices like study therapy, and there is also a communication robot to help sufferers. It may look like a simple doll, but Kabuchan can speak, sing, and even make small movements. It's programmed with 400 phrases, including instructions for gymnastic exercises. The introduction of Kabuchan has had good results in several care homes, and staff say their work burden has eased as patients become calmer. As the elderly population increases, more staff are required to treat them. This is creating a growing financial burden for hospitals. But several large corporations like Panasonic think they have the answer, robotic equipment. They're investing heavily in care support technology that they say can save hospitals money. Basically, the trays with medicine are prepared the day before. And then they are transferred to the patients by our robot's hospital. Despite the challenge the aging population poses to society, these Japanese companies see it as an opportunity for growth. They believe their new technology will be a success on the international market, freeing time for staff to dedicate to their patients and allowing caregivers to control costs. 
周りがロボットで固あの囲まれてるようなんですけど、全く望んでおりませんで。I don't want to be sitting in a hospital surrounded by robots. 年を取っていきたい。I want to grow old with people, and I want to be surrounded by people rather than robots. まあ。But if some of my robots can assist my carers and friends with the hard and mundane work, that would be the ideal vision of the future for me. With help from the robots, hospitals may just be able to cope with the rising number of elderly patients. But the country faces another challenge the increasing financial burden that is straining the pension system. If the such demography continues in the future,、uh, our government cannot support such system. It's、uh, not sustainable. So, so, to avoid that, we have to do two things. One is、uh, to decrease the cost for medical and long term care as much as possible. And the second is、uh, we have to、uh, restructure the insufficient the, such social system to be more. Uh, sufficient, no, 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 efficient. Yeah. And,、uh, but I think the more important thing we have to do is the first thing. Because many, all, some older people,、uh, they are really relatively、uh, spoiled by the government spending.、Yeah. Many older people believed、uh, they, were, they will be. Uh, rescued by the government, whatever happened. But the recent years they understood it was an illusion. No, government、uh, anymore、uh, cannot support us. Here in Kashiwa, north of Tokyo, a pilot scheme is being tested, a project that might yet be part of the solution. The idea is to keep the elderly active and socially involved. So now, retirees are being given brand new part time jobs created with government support. After retirement, I had nothing to do, so I only did my hobby and became lazy. Now I have a job. I have to come on time. I am busy doing something. This schedule is very good for me. Without this, I would be idle. Professor Hiroko Akiyama heads the team of experts running the project in Kashiwa. Professor Akiyama's research reveals that most elderly people would prefer to keep a job in order to stay busy. This is not for I mean,、uh, the money, basically. Okay. I think I mean,、uh, the, uh, if you stay home okay, and t- watch TV all day, And then occasionally they take a walk, a dog walk for a walk. I mean, then your I mean, muscle d e t e r i o r a t e very I mean, quickly, and also brain s t a r t being just d e t e r i o r a t e soon. Before going into retirement, 77 year old Ri Kimura used to work in an office. When her husband died, she says she felt lonely. Until the Kashiwa project gave her her job in this kindergarten. I don't want a full time job. But working two to three days a week as a part of Professor Akiyama's project is a good way to help keep the elderly healthy and occupied. I have no previous experience of working in a nursery. The only previous experience that I do have is raising my children and my grandchildren. But doing this work here is both pleasant 
、エンドリースフー。子供たちに通じればいいなと思ってます。In Japan, it's typical for people to retire before reaching the age of 65. According to Professor Akiyama, that has to change if they are to reduce the burden on the healthcare system and save pension funds from collapsing.、Uh, one of the solutions is I think people just stay working, I mean,、uh, until mid 70s. Okay, and So, I think I mean, we are living longer, but also I mean, we are living healthier too. Okay, so, it's I mean,、uh, the、uh, health in、uh, the age 65 or 70, 10 years ago or 20 years, I mean, it's quite different from now. Okay, so, I mean, the people now in 65 is quite young and healthy and strong, and they have knowledge and skills. Okay, and also,、uh, fortunately, Japanese wish to work. Basically, I mean, Most of the people work until age 75 and pay tax. Okay, and,、uh, and then we can support, and that also m a k e people healthier too, maintain health healthy too. So, yeah, that, that, that is、uh, my idea. <laughs> too op optimis optimistic. <laughs> It may well prove that the only way for society to manage the demographic challenge. Will be to encourage the elderly to stay healthy and take care of themselves until a later stage in their lives. At the table tennis club, the players strongly agree with Professor Akiyama's vision. I use all energy when I play table tennis. That's the fun、oh, of my life. I get energy <laughs> through. We play table tennis and I keep my body very young and healthy. Pensioner Fugenji Toshio says that being lonely and old is an unhealthy combination. So he takes every opportunity to engage in an activity that lets him meet people. We, elderly people, like me, must make an effort to have fun in life. It's Fugenji's belief that retired people should take more responsibility for their own well being and not become a burden on society. So he participates in sport and music to keep physically and mentally fit. It's something that gives him hope for the future. In a chorus, one person cannot be outstanding. Harmony is very important in the chorus and among people. I feel this harmony, and it's a great pleasure. <laughs> To me, That's what life's all about. <laughs>